The story of the York Peninsula Lines begins in 1862 with a horse-drawn tramway built to take copper from the mines at Kadena to the smelters at Wallaroo. This was followed by a line to Moonter in 1866. Another horse-drawn tramway was built from Hoylton to Port Wakefield in 1869 and this line was upgraded to a railway and extended to Wallaroo in 1878. Another line from Kadena to Brinkworth reached Snowtown in 1879. The narrow gauge railway was extended to Moonter in 1892, giving the whole Copper Triangle rail communication with Adelaide, via the Adelaide to Red Hill line, seen here in red, and the Gladstone line at Balaclava. Passenger trains ended in 1969, and the last train left Moonter in 1979. The Balaclava to Pascoville and Moonter to Wallaroo sections closed in 1984, followed by the Kadena to Pascoville section in 1990. The final section from Wallaroo to Snowtown closed in 1993. Tourist trains of the York Peninsula Tourist Railway operated over the line from Wallaroo to Butte until they too closed in 2009 and the age of rail on the York Peninsula was over. Let's go exploring and see what's left in 2022. Uh, for a time, Port Wakefield was one of the busiest uh, shipping ports in South Australia. All of that changed, however, and the line was closed between Balaclava and Pascoville, including this part here, in 1984. Not a lot remains today, but we're going to take a bit of a journey and try and uncover what's left for you here on Outdoors Type. Enjoy. where the line used to cross the York Highway. I know many years ago I used to come past here and there was still a um, rail line embedded in the highway here, but it's since been resurfaced and again, nothing really remains. You can still see quite strikingly though, uh, the permanent way as it cuts its way across the salt flats. Looking at here is some of the old um, uh, rail has been turned into fence posts because what tended to happen when they upgraded the gauge from narrow gauge to broad gauge and from light rail to heavy rail, they recycled a lot of the old smaller gauge rail into fence posts. And that's one of the ways that I can actually tell that there's been a railway uh, in a spot. You can always tell by the fence posts. At uh, Melton, we've uh, come up onto the uh, top part of the York Peninsula now, heading to Pascoville, and we've stumbled across what might be one of the longest and last bits of rail remaining. Well, we're here at uh, Pascoville now, we're about halfway across the York Peninsula. Uh, behind me you'll see the old station sign and uh, remains of one of the goods cranes. 
Um, there's nothing left behind camera here. There's one of these big open grassy spaces where once a busy railway station full of good sidings and good sheds and railway platforms. But nowadays, like so many of these other towns, nothing remains. So next time you're passing through one of these old country towns and you see a big empty space like this, it's usually a good indication that there was once a railway there. Anyway, we're gonna keep on heading across the York Peninsula now. Kadena is the next stop, so let's go. Okay, so we're uh, in Kadena now. We're at the side of the old railway yards and Kadena station, which is just behind shot there, and we'll show you that in a second. Um, all that really remains is this uh, commercial precinct filled with uh, car parks, and they've gone and plonked an oldie supermarket in the middle of the old railway right away. So there's no railway heading to Wallaroo anytime soon. Uh, we're gonna explore the railway station precinct a little bit. We're gonna try and find where the railway branched off to Brinkworth. Um, and then um, after that, we're going to continue heading over to the coast and Wallaroo to show you the rest of the York Peninsula Railways. So stick around. down on the waterfront at uh, Wallaroo. I'm just near the uh, ferry terminal um, and the old Smelters uh, State Heritage Building. As you can see uh, the old um, massive chimney stack up there. There's a few relics left around and about and I know from Google Maps and uh, many other investigations that uh, this area was basically uh, one big huge rail yard and um, smelting um, industrial site but there's no rails remaining at all that I can find here now. Um, the Wallaroo Marina development has taken it all over.
done the big loop around the copper triangle as it's called um, so we've come through Kadena and headed over to Wallaroo then down to Moonta and back up to Kadena where we're going to join the Kadena to Snowtown line we're going to head through Butte and Barunga Gap down to Snowtown and that will complete our trip of the York Peninsula lines stick around for another few minutes while we check out the last section to close You can see the railway platform, um, you can even see the, uh, the old light there, so uh, at some stage they must have had a requirement to have the platform lit. This part of the line closed in 1993, last time this station may have seen a train was probably 18 years ago now. Here we are on uh, Highway 1 between Adelaide and Port Augusta at Snowtown in what's possibly the last sometimes active railway crossing on any of these York Peninsula lines. Uh, it's basically become a short spur off the main line here at Snowtown. It's uh, to serve the Patera grain loading facility uh, that we'll have a look at or we might have just had a look at depending where I edit this one in. We've made it to Snowtown, and thanks for joining me along the journey. You can still see the Kadena line branching off behind me here, uh, but this main line is now the line between Adelaide and Port Augusta, and modern day freight trains and passenger trains still thunder through here. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this exploration of the York Peninsula lines. If you did, um, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, so you'll see more of these as soon as I release them. See you then. Thank you.